Hi folks, so in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering uh, a topic here based on the chapter known as intersecting planes and specifically we're going to be looking at how to find the line of intersection between two planes. In this case we've got plane ABC and ADE and what we're going to be using specifically in this video is a horizontal cutting plane method. Okay, so first of all, what we have to identify is if we just look at the 3D graphic here before we get into the 2D over here, if we look at the graphic over here, we can see our two planes. One is in kind of blue, A, B, and C, and we have the other one in orange, A, D, and D. And you can see underneath then, we've obviously got the horizontal plane, which would be represented by the XY line, and then we have this kind of plane floating in midair, titled HCP, called a horizontal cutting plane. Now the purpose of the horizontal cutting plane is to help us find what's known as the line of intersection. So a question would often come up in a leaving search whereby you have to find the line of intersection between two planes, okay? In this case, we obviously have the planes or lamina sometimes they're called. In this case, we've got A, B, and C and A, D, and E. Clearly, we can see that a common point between the two of them is point A, okay? And essentially what we're trying to find is where those two triangles cut each other. And you can see here, I've kind of it highlighted there very, uh, very lightly. Uh, that's called our line of intersection. Okay. And we're going to use what's known as a horizontal cutting plane method to figure that out. Okay. So in actually completing that, and I'll refer to this as we go through the question, you can see here, first of all, my horizontal cutting plane, it's actually going to start on the point C. So when we do a horizontal cutting plane, what we want to do is we want to pick a point that's going to go through both planes, okay? Uh, both, uh, I say both planes, both lamina, both surfaces, A, B, C, and A, D, E. So I want a horizontal line in the elevation to cut through both of those surfaces. So I could actually just pick a line like this, and I can see there it goes through A, B, C, and it also goes through A, D, E. However, it makes sense to pick one where a point is already on it, okay? So if I was to do one from B here, you could see that's not appropriate because it starts at B, it doesn't go through any other, uh, other line on the face A, B, C. If I did it from E, it wouldn't work. If I did it from A, it wouldn't work. So either C or D are going to be appropriate. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to do one from point number C, or, or letter number C, I should say. So from C, I'm going to do a horizontal cutting plane like that. And if you imagine, that line there is representing this plane here. But in elevation, we know we're looking at it from this direction, so we're going to see that horizontal cutting plane as a line. Okay, now what we need to identify, first of all, is where that cutting plane is cutting through our edges of our various lamina or various surfaces, A, B, C, and A, D, E. So if I focus on the triangle, first of all, A, B, C, I can see, obviously, it starts at C, so that's one. And then where else does it cut on the triangle ABC? I can see that it cuts right here. So I'm going to call that point number one. And also, because this is in green here, I'm actually going to highlight this in green. Okay, so there's our cutting plane running through it. Now what I want to do is I've located point number one. Okay, and you can see there that's on the edge AB. So you can actually see here by the horizontal cutting plane, now my graphic is a little bit off, but it's just because it's a sketch. But if you look here, that's technically, I suppose, where point number one would be. So there we have point number one. Okay, we found that, and we know that point number one connects to C. So that's the first thing I want to do. It's done in elevation. I also have to find that point in plan. So project point number one down, and it's on the edge AB. And we can see it there. We have now found point number one in plan. And I'm now going to connect that over as far as C. So I'm after drawing in what that line looks like in my plan view. Okay, so the same cutting plane that we used also cuts through the surface A, D, and E. Okay, and you can see then it actually cuts through the line D, E right here. I'm going to call this point number two. And it cuts through the line A to E right here, which I'm going to call point number three. So now that I've found those two points, I'm actually going to project those down. So two will project onto D, E, right down there. And three will project onto A, right there. So that's where number two is. And this is where number three is. 
And likewise, in plan view, two connects the tree, or sorry, in the elevation it connects the tree, so obviously in the plan it has to connect as well. Okay, so essentially what we're after doing here is we're after drawing, connecting one to C, and we're after connecting two to tree. So if I was to label those, if you remember A to D, as if, sorry, uh, I should have said D to E, apologies, uh, gave us a point here, which is number two. So D to E, that's like my point number two there. And then obviously on the line A to E, which would be a point over here, this is my point number three. Okay, so as we can see there, we've got a line from one to C and a line from two to three, all generated by this horizontal cutting plane, because where it cuts through obviously the edges is helping us determine some of these points. What's helpful to us though, and if you actually look here, this is the line that we want to find. What's helpful to us is where the line one to C crosses over the line two to three is a point on my line of intersection. Okay, so we're using that to help us complete this over here. So in the elevation, because we see it as line, we can't see it, but in the plan view, where the line one to C crosses over and intersects with the line from two to three is actually a point on my line of intersection. Okay, so I found that, and that's just if they're explaining it with the 3D graphic. Now I know that that line of intersection connects to A. So in my plan view, I will connect that now to A. That there is my line of intersection. I found it. The problem is, where does it finish? We can see clearly here where the two triangles or the two surfaces, two lamina cross each other, it ends right here. And if I follow this edge B to C, you can actually see that it's ending where the triangle ADE crosses over with ABC and it ends up crossing on the edge B to C. So that's where I actually have to finish it. Just because I found this point, that's not where it ends. I have to continue it from A and extend it down to here. So it's going to extend down until it hits the edge B to C, which is this edge here. So my plan view, I actually need to extend it a little bit further. So it extends to there. Now that I've found that in my plan view, I can find the exact point in my elevation because that's on the edge B to C. So I can now find this, project it up until it crosses over with the edge B to C right here. And in the elevation, draw that in. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do, I use a little red highlighter here. I'm going to go with a red marker, the red highlighter. I'm just going to go over my line of intersection. So that's the line of intersection in the plan. That there will be the line of intersection in the elevation. Okay, so just a quick recap on that there. We had two surfaces, ABC and ADE, two triangles that are intersecting one another. Okay, and in the 3D graphic, we were able to locate the line of intersection here. It was identified to us. We could see where the two triangles were crossing over. That line there is called the line of intersection. Okay, what we have to do is we have to determine that line of intersection in the elevation and the plane. What we used was a horizontal cutting plane. Where that horizontal cutting plane cuts through, okay, we picked a distinctive point. We started with point number C. We put in the horizontal cutting plane and elevation. We did a horizontal line. We started off with ABC, that surface there, C being the start point, and then one, the point number here, is on the edge A to B. Found that in plan, connected it back to C, which is essentially this line here. Okay, somewhere along that line is a point that is on the line of intersection. Then the same principle was going to be applied to ADE. I found where the horizontal cutting plane cut, cross, or sorry, crosses through it. Uh, in this case, on the DE line, and then the AE line for point number two and three. Projected two down onto the DE line, projected three down onto the AE line, joined them up, and once again, two three will cross through on the same horizontal cutting plane at the point, or sorry, somewhere along that line is going to be the line of intersection. And you can see then clearly the line 1C and two three, where they cross over each other, will give us the exact point. So in our plan view, where the two lines crossed over one another, we found our exact point, okay? Then I knew it connected to A because that's a common point between them, joined it up to A, and then to find out exactly where it finishes, you can see clearly here it ends on the edge BC, so I had to extend it down to the edge BC. Once I found that in my plan, project it up to the elevation and connect to A. And that is how you find the line of intersection by using a horizontal cutting plane. The last thing I'm going to do is just identify these green lines here, 
in my plan view because they're obviously in green and elevation already there's the first one and then the second one is from two to three and that's the point that we want okay a very handy uh, method uh, for finding the line of intersection in another video uh, that we're going to do based on the same question here we're going to use another method called the auxiliary method i hope you found that helpful